Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, it's room tour part three. Let's go check out some toys. So here we go. This is my toy room. So as we walk in, we'll look around. And as you can see, it would be extremely difficult to do this in one video. So we're do breaking it up and we're doing it in multiple videos. So video number one, we've done already. And we worked on the poster and this wall here and showed all those toys and then video number two we walked around and we talked and I showed you all these good toys and there's actually one really cool toy that I don't know if you noticed but I'm pretty excited to show you up close and that is a hollow tubes Tuscan Raider so I am very lucky that I own the hollow tubes Tuscan Raider that was gifted to me by a good friend, Dan. So thank you, Dan. I absolutely love it. So let's move over here and we're gonna work on this shelving over here. And we're gonna go through all these toys for video number three. I have my ring light set up over here. So we have pretty decent lighting for to check out the toys. But let's start on this side of the shelving unit. So we're gonna st start with that blaster there. And that is the three position rifle. So what do you say? Let's do this! So here we go. So let's first move these two TIE Fighters here so we can see this side of the shelving unit. Okay, the TIE Fighters are gone and let's show, so let, I did show a little bit of this. So this is the original Darth Vader's Star Wars carrying case. Darth Vader on the front and the rest of the gang. Absolutely love this carrying case. I actually had this as a kid also. This isn't my childhood one, but definitely had it as a kid. Very cool. So I actually have two of these and one of them is filled with droids. But let's come over here. And this is the Han Solo blaster. And this was my childhood one. So this is from 1977. And this was my childhood one, which is awesome. So it still works. So let's put batteries in it in a second. And also, I had one, this uh, three position rifle as a kid, but this isn't my childhood one. And let's put batteries and check that one out first also. But before we do all that, let's just take a look at these two figures. And here we have Princess Leia in her slave outfit. And we have a Nikto Gunner. So I do have some of the uh, skiffs over there and I figured he would look cool on the skiff, but this is a hard figure to find on card and or just a hard figure to find. So I don't know if I want to open them. So he might stay on the card. And my opinion, this is the best Princess Leia figure because she comes with the seated lower half that you can detach. You know, you can swap the both lower halves so he could have her sitting with Jabba or standing next to Jabba as she strangles him. But yeah, very cool. But enough rambling on, let's put some batteries in these things. Unfortunately, it's not working. Um, you know how these motors are, so I actually took it apart, which was probably a bad idea, and a uh, few things moved around. I did check out a video, Retro Blasting. He has an older video where he restored his. And all that I needed to do was just try to stick a screwdriver in here and turn this motor like that. And I probably could have got it working, maybe. But I will revisit this at another time. But let's check out the other blaster. Unfortunately, I can't get this going either. Man, I am having the worst of luck. But um, and this button here feels like it's off-centered a bit. So I don't know what happened. Um, one day I will take it apart and reassemble it. You know how these motors are in these old Kenner toys. They're just a little little spinner motor that made this crazy <coughs> sound. But we love the sound and hopefully I can get these working again. But if not, I mean, they're still great pieces, at least in my opinion. Position one. Position two. Position three. This just snaps down comes all the way over locks into place like that look at that 
who would make that Beep. sound. And I know I said in the last video that a lot of these items don't have batteries. And I actually lied because I didn't, I, I totally forgot. Here we had two items with batteries. We have a few more items with batteries. But check out these lightsabers here. So these are some vintage Star Wars lightsabers. So we have the Darth Vader one. And these are the Force lightsabers. So I think that's what you have to look for when you Google it or if you go online on eBay, because I tried to do a search on it today and I had a hard time with it. But you see how this has like a, a cone shape on the top or uh, I don't even know what you'd call that, but check it out like on the top. This one has a little broken tip, but because that is like that, it makes a cool sound when you swing it around. So I actually have the red one and the hard to find yellow which is right here. Let me pull that one up. So this one's a little bit more harder to find. But, and this one's actually in really nice shape. So let's swing this around and check it out. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Let's move over here to check out the, the green saber. So I have all three of them. So yeah, check that out. How cool is that? The Force a Lightsaber. Pretty decent detail from back in the day. A little dusty, sorry about that. But yeah, so we have the green one. This one's a little banged up a bit, but that's fine. And it's missing the little cone thing on the top. But yeah, very cool sabers. And let's move over to the top shelf, let me see. Okay, let's hope the lighting's okay over here, but let's start at the top with the Baby Nippet Funko Pop, and that is Flock. Pretty cool. And then we have a two pack of Ramba and Grok. I didn't even know Grok, but, and again, these two are a little bit harder to find on card, so I'm keeping them on card for now. And here we have the Endor Ewok Village. Look at, and then we have some figures there. Those are from the vintage collection. And of course we are Spit roasting monkey lizards here because we all know how tasty monkey lizards are. We have this is complete, so let's look at it from this angle here. And we have the catapult, the chair, and there is the vintage speeder with a power of the force Luke Skywalker in there. So this is complete. Very cool to have it in my collection. I actually never had it as a kid. I had to acquire it later on in life, but. And here we have, there is Nip It right there, Baby Nip It, right? And here's a bunch of Ewoks and Leia in her indoor outfit, R2. He's all tied up and a bunch of Ewoks there. And here is the Robin Hood Battle Wagon. Unfortunately, I can't afford to get the Ewok Battle Wagon because we all know how expensive that is. But this is almost the same thing. We're missing a few items, but I think it's pretty cool to represent. So I'm happy with that. Okay, we took down the Battle Wagon. And here is the Legacy Collection ATST, which is awesome. I got that for a really good deal at a local shop. And here is the vintage Darth Vader TIE Fighter with some uh, Scout Troopers. And here is the TIE Interceptor, which is pretty cool. That's the vintage one. And maybe I'll put some batteries in these and check them out. What do you think? You want to hear them? The question is, will this TIE Interceptor work? What do you guys think? Chances are probably not because of these motors aren't the greatest, but let's give it a go. Fingers crossed. Yes, sir. Hours of fun. And then we have the Ewok glider, vintage one, with uh, is that cheap chirper? Correct me if I'm wrong. And check out these vintage masks. Now, 
I've never seen these again. I've got these on eBay. I don't know if these are fan made or are these legit. So I'll take them down and you can take a peek at them a little bit closer and let me know. If this is a fan made, which it probably is, I would say it is, but I'm not 100% sure. And here is the back if you want to look at the back. And it, I believe it's a 1999. It is Dawn Post. Wicket Warwick. Um, Lucasfilm. Dawn Post. Yeah, pretty cool. I love it, you know, whether somebody custom made it or not. And um, obviously it doesn't really look like Wicket. This one looks like Wicket, kind of. More so. I mean, the, the fur is... Look at that. How cool is that? But the mask is actually different. This one. You can see how this one is, like, bumpy. This one's a little bit smoother. And even on the back side, you can see the back compared to this one. This is real smooth. And let's look at the year on this one, if I can read it it's really flattened out but let's see if it'll focus and it is dawn post let's see if we can find a year on it let me know if you see a year anybody see a year yet oh there it is i think i see a 19 is that definitely 1980? Is that a six or an eight? I'm not sure, but definitely a different mask and super cool. So I'm super happy to have these in my collection. And I got these both on eBay from the same, I think it was the same lot, from the same lot. Again, this was a long time ago that I got these, but super cool and here's a photo of me wearing it years ago when my kids were little and here is a vintage princess leia with a new uh, modern uh leia outfit so this is the vintage leia with a more modern one and i can show you that modern one in a second so the outfits from the forces of destiny star wars pack with princess leia and wicket pretty cool and here is, I believe it's, what, the Power of the Jedi uh, speeder bike. And that is IG-11 with Grogu. I think that looks pretty cool like that. Little hot glue. And it's a pretty cool, dis cool display. And here is, again, this is like the, the 90s version, 95 version. Or somewhere around there, 98. Of the Slave One. Which is basically the same mold as the vintage one. And right back here is... I think this came out in, oh, I forget what year, but it is a Boba Fett helmet that when you press the buttons on the side, it does a lot of voices. It's it's a kid's version, so it's not like the Black Series helmet, but I think it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't think the electronics work. Last time I tried to get it going, the electronics didn't work, but it looks really cool. And over here is the Han Solo and the Carbonite that goes with the Slave One pretty cool now let's move down here we have black series luke skywalker with the add at foot and it lights up pretty cool there is the ice battle playset from 1980 complete with the radar dish love that thing monsters inc a bottomless snowman comic con exclusive wampa with the, uh, you get the retro packaging, which is pretty cool, but I don't have any room for it, and that's actually up in the attic. Here is the survival pack. This is the actual little pamphlet for it, the survival kit. And here's all the items in it, right here. Pretty cool. Those bombs are not farthest. Those bombs are actually reproduction ones that we're gonna go to this IG-88 figure, but I never got around to making the bandolier from. 
So they're in this baggie now. Let's see here. We have a bunch of mini rigs. We have a Cap 2, the vehicle maintenance, yeah. the MTB 7, and the Indoor Forest Ranger. All complete in a box. Pretty cool. Like that. And then here's another mini rig right here. Uh, that top doesn't actually go to it. I got that from a little toy playset back in the day. Here we have a couple of books. We have Return of the Jedi in full color. Really cool. Check that out. Awesome. And then Splinter of the Mind's Eye. Here is the making of Star Wars VHS. Star Wars Jedi making. And two original VHS three original VHS tapes and this one's still in the wrapper Return of Jedi how much was that $17.96 still in the wrapper and um, actually this one is too The Empire Strikes Back pretty cool let's see what the uh, Star Wars look at that poster awesome and then we have this little golden books and then, who remembers Presto Magic? It's the only Presto Magic uh, Star Wars that I have. I think. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in future videos. But yeah, this one's pretty cool. It hasn't been uh, applied. It's just all it's still in the package. Pretty cool. And here is not. This is the open belly Tauntaun. He's actually broke, he has a, an ear that's broken, but I kind of like it because it, isn't that like, didn't Han Solo's Tauntaun have a little messed up ear too? Correct me if I'm wrong, probably am wrong, but I kind of like it like that. And then here's a regular Tauntaun. So how cool would it be if we had like a Tauntaun as a kid, like a, a sleeping bag or something? How cool would that be? That would be so cool. This is a Tauntaun sleeping bag. I purchased at GameStop. I think I got it for like 50 bucks, which is a decent deal. It's got leg, it's got a tail. Look at this. It's pretty cool. And it's got a lightsaber right here where you pull the, the zipper and you cut them open basically like in the movie. And look at intestines. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Ah. So this is probably one of my favorite sets right here because I love this probot. This probot, I mean, to me, that's an action figure, man. That could actually go in the Star Wars case over there. I think it's just that, that, like, super cool. Love it. I had this as a kid, too. And then we have a snow speeder in the box. Here is the snow speeder, complete with the grappling hook. But let's see if it works. a little button right there kind of a weird button right but let's check it out and here is vintage wampa i love this thing and then the imperial tech base i had this as a kid also and this is uh complete in the box the box is a little beat up but last but not least i know it's not star wars but i do like the uh bumbles here so here we have a build a figure for the marvel build a figure so i can't remember this guy's name but i think he looks pretty cool in there he had like a little belt or something but i took it off and i like that let's move on to the next shelf we have uh bantha complete with its fur tuscan raider Space Punch Drink, unopened, Princess Leia. Back here is Mission Fleet Darth Maul. Some Empire Strikes Back cups, Yoda on one. And we have Boba Fett and Darth Vader on the other cup. Empire Strikes Back. And then inside this cup is a couple of Hammerhead figures, because Hammerhead and Chewbacca were my favorite figures back in the day. Um, I love sharks, I love Jaws back in the day, and Hammerhead sharks were um, something that I really liked too. And, and he's got a ton of veins on his arms too. I mean, well, 
how do you not like that? Look at that. This guy is so vascular. He could uh, step on stage and do some bodybuilding competition, don't you think? Uh, probably not. But let's see here. Let's go to these necklaces. These are die cast pendants. So we have Yoda. Let me take a better look at that. So Super John can check that out. Check out that Yoda, John. You like that, huh? Return of the Jedi. There's like nothing on the back. So what are these? Like kind of like, you know, cheapies. But we have Darth Vader and R2-D2. I love that. Look at the detail on R2. Pretty cool. And then these are from 78, I think. And these are, that's uh, C-3PO, Chewbacca, and R2-D2 necklaces. And a vintage, I think that's 1978 also, uh, watch. That was gifted to me by a buddy at work. Here we have some scatter pens, vintage 1977, it says on it. Darth Vader, C3PO, and R2D2. That's pretty cool, huh? Trying to focus. The lighting's not the best down here, but uh, here we have a vintage. I love this one. The, the uh, decals on it, the stickers are really good. I got this just recently at a local mm -hmm. shop, and it was missing the, the cover and the radar dish here but since right if you look up here I have a vintage one and this is um, one I've had for a while but the stickers aren't the greatest so I just swapped some of the parts so what do you say we uh, listen to this so I have my battery daddy here so Vern thanks for the advice I do have a battery daddy now um, but all these C batteries that I tried and I actually tried in my blasters, these didn't work well in here. The sound was like, whoa, you know, when it was talking, but I found one battery that's decent. So let's listen to this. Here we have Captain Antilles in Darth Vader. And here we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, or was Obi-Wan Kenobi in his lightsaber. Pretty cool. And then we have a Jawa here. And this is from uh, the 90s, I do believe, or early 2000. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I've had this for, for so long. But uh, it takes batteries. And if you press the button on its side, his eyes light up, which is pretty cool. And look at here. We have the story of Star Wars 8-track. And I have the book right there too. The story of Star Wars. And these are micro machines right here in this little baggie. Let me uh and these I actually use for my Palatoy Death Star that I made. But I don't want them falling and getting lost, so I just keep them in this little baggie. But right down here, you know who that is? That's Friar Tuck. AKA Jabba the Hutt with Han Solo. And then we have the Land of Jawas back here. One of my favorite sets as a kid. I love this thing. And mainly because of this, this little, uh, the uh, escape pod. How cool was that as a kid? This is the Sonic Land Speeder. Doesn't work the greatest, man. And this thing always breaks. I had a couple of these because um, I've got these on eBay. And every time I try to mess with it, I would always break. I broke like two of these clips in here trying to get this stinking thing to work with the Sonic. So that one I haven't broken. Um, so I'm not going to try it, but this does work. It doesn't work the greatest, but it does work. And here we have some Left Coast Graphics stickers. So there we have Yak Face, the actor. And here we have Chewbacca, Peter Mayhew which I met in person. Like, love Chewbacca. Chewbacca is my favorite. And here we have the remote control Jawa Sandcrawler. My buddy had this as a kid when I was growing up and I always wanted it. And I was lucky enough to get this. I actually got this and a few other items at a local place probably 10 years ago. 
Guess how much I paid. Come on, guess. 40 bucks. Doesn't have the controller, but it does work. And I do have a remote that works with it. You want to check it out? All right, let's do it. We have a ladder. Let's spin it around first. This is definitely my favorite Star Wars vehicle that I own. And look at, you even have the little elevator here. Pretty cool. Put a droid in there. You have the place where you put the Jawas right in here. Still got all the stickers there. Really cool. And check out the, you gotta watch out for this. Let me take this off just to be, so we don't break anything. Doesn't, I don't know if that had it supposed to have a sticker in there, but this one doesn't. Oh, let's be careful of that. Don't want to break that top right there. But check out how the battery compartment works. So this just slides like that. And it takes two D batteries. So the remote does work, and I'll show you the remote in a second, but I don't like putting these. 9 volt batteries in there because they're so difficult to get back out so I don't want to damage this thing but it still works without it check it out so the remote I use for this sand crawler is actually from a 70s Batmobile that I own and this is the remote so this is basically what the original one looked like I do believe so the frequency is the same you would just press this button and it would basically stop it and change like the direction so instead of backing up it would change it to forward I do believe um, it's been a while and again I don't once I I put the batteries the 9 volt in it before and I had such a hard time getting it out I was nervous I was gonna break it so break this thing and we don't want to break that because I love that but it works great with with the batteries and I'd rather have it going in circles like that anyways so check out this micro machine that I have this is pretty cool so there's a little lever here that you push and it moves the droids here open in here and you have a little cockpit so pretty cool but look what's even cooler I still have some Jawas here. Check them out. And they used to ha have like a little battle pack of like a bunch of Jawas and, or Stormtroopers or whatnot. But yeah, I have four Jawas. So also on the right side of the shelving unit, check out, I have a, another sand crawler. And this is the Disney one. So let's check it out. So this sand crawler is definitely bigger than this one. The original vintage one. Check that out. Bird's eye view there. But let's check out some features real quick. When you move it, it makes sound. It did come with this cheaper version of a Jawa. And I do have this droid here. Death Star droid, I do believe. And there's a gonk in here too. When you press the buttons in the back, it makes noise. That's pretty sweet button right here if you hit that the front of this opens and you can bring out a droid there's a little play feature here it looks like a little table or something you can open it up and drop things inside here maybe for parts or something let's put this droid in here check it out there's two buttons here for the elevator one for down one for up Left Coast Graphics pen. Um, Sandcrawler is, I think, my favorite vehicle in Star Wars. It's so iconic. I mean, as soon as you you saw that on screen as a kid back in 77, 78, man, it was breathtaking. Look at that. How cool is that? And then right back there is from Disney, 
R2-D2 Mickey Mouse ears. So yeah, that's that shelf. Whew, that took a while. Oh, oh wait, I almost forgot this. Super John got me this from Disney. And this was the uh, little uh, restraining bolt that went on R2-D2. It's like a magnet. How cool is that? Thank you, John. Love it. And then right here is a stack of the freeze frames, which is pretty cool. And this is actually, a this right here should go over here with the Droid Factory playset. So this goes here. And that's the wires and extra bits for that. So here are the droids for this Sandcrawler scene. I'm super lucky that I got these back in the day when they're not so expensive, but yeah, I love it. I love this little scene here. So we went through three shelves. I have two more shelves to go, but there's a ton of stuff. So let's uh, save that for another video. I'll try to get, get it out ASAP. Maybe in the next few days, you'll see that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone.